Alright, it's time for a recycled theme song, Gilligan's Island style. Who put the blog in Mark Love, Steve and Tiffany, and Drew? The Professor and Marianne. Anybody? Anybody? Never mind. So anyway, I'm going to propose that that last soundbite included in it is actually going to become our official Vlog Club theme song, and I'll send you the soundbite later, but there are lots of things going on, and I'll get around to it sometime. So anyway, there are lots of things I'm going to get through, and so I'm going to try and talk really fast so I can get it all done. First order of business, Barnes. I mean, asking me to do research is kind of like asking me to eat my vegetables. It's really refreshing, really easy, really good for you, and I don't understand why people don't do it more! So anyway, Barnes. As we all know, most Barnes are painted red. This is because it was usually made with a combination of ferric oxide and something else. Ferric oxide is also known as iron oxide, also known as rust. I prefer to call it ferric oxide, though, because if you call it rust, it sounds like, Well, me and my boys just went over to the barn and we scraped some of the rust off the roof and mixed it with some mayonnaise and spread it all over the wall. Another side note, if you've ever heard of organic paint, that's really all it is. Mayonnaise and coloring mixed all together. It smells terrible. So anyway, that's why barns were painted red. However, in Kentucky, it's important to note that they are actually tobacco barns and not livestock or straw barns, and so therefore they want to dry out the tobacco in the barns. That's why they paint it black with a mixture of, like, tar and stuff, I think. So it draws in the heat and dries it out. I talk a lot with my hands. Next order of business, Tiffany's Challenge. You still haven't done the Judy Grimes Challenge, and as promised, you are going to have to do it eating cheese. And I've got several stages planned out for you. The first stage is what you have the chance to do tomorrow. If you do it tomorrow, you get to pick what kind of cheese you eat. If you don't do it tomorrow, but instead do it next week, I get to pick what kind of cheese you eat, but it'll be something I like so that I get the leftovers. If you don't do it that week, but do it the week after that, it's going to be a cheese that I pick purposely because it's going to taste terrible to anyone who tries it. The next thing that I'm going to do is try to teach Tiffany how to do this multi-voice thing that I keep doing. And it's probably going to be really boring, but if you guys are really interested, I'm going to try and make it fun. The first thing you need is a copy of Audacity. This can be downloaded from the IU Applications website, and I think you can get it free a lot of other places too. Once you have Audacity, open it. The first thing that I always do when I'm creating a song is go here, Generate, Click Track. Now you can see I've got a click track. This is going to be my metronome as I sing. This next step is probably the most crucial. What you need is a pair of earbuds. You put one of them in this ear, plug this ear while you're singing. Next, you come over here and you click record. This is Vlog Club. Then you just add as many tracks as you want. Uh, So that's how you record multi-track voices. Next order of business, I would really like to see more members, but we have so many Floridian members, mostly because of Coolmeister, fake out, Coolmeister, Dan, and because Tiffany's from Indiana, Ben's from Pennsylvania, and Drew's from North Carolina, surely there are friends somewhere who've seen this. Um, so guys, spread the word. Maybe have a cool contingent somewhere else. Holy snap, there's not very much time left and I forgot my challenge for Drew. You have to sing the song of the Knights of the Round Table from Camelot in Monty Python and the Quest for the Holy Grail using the techniques outlined in this video. And with that, this is Steve signing off.